internet, my name is Michaela, and oh, hmm, yeah, sorry. Hey, <laughs> first of all, I know it's been a really, really long time since I've updated. That's mostly because at the beginning of the year I lost my job and I've been devoting all of my energy into finding a new one. But other than that, I have no excuse and I am really sorry. I know all of my faithful subscribers have been wondering where I am. All 25 of you. But I am back now. Fear not, internet. I've missed you. I know you've missed me too. Back to business. When last we left off, everyone had voted that I should learn how to build a house of cards. I've never done this before and I don't think I'm going to be very good at it, so this may not turn out great, but we are going to try because that is what we do here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is find ourselves a flat surface upon which to build our house of cards. So in order to do that, we're going to have to leave this room and go somewhere else. Ugh. Here we go! <sighs> So here we are in my kitchen, you guys have never been in here before. The next thing that you need to build a house of cards, unsurprisingly, is a deck of cards. Now I've scoured my house and I can't actually find an entire deck of real playing cards, so instead I'm going to use these. Now there are two main types of card castles, the pyramid and the lockbox. We're going to start with the lockbox because apparently that one's easier. Okay, so for the first step of the lockbox, live up to its namesake and make ourselves a box. Take four cards, set them up kind of like this in a T shape. Try and hold them there with one of your fingers while you get another one of your cards. And line them up together to make a box. Tilt them in towards each other a little bit so they don't fall. So then the next thing to do is to take two more cards and lay them down slowly and gently on top of the box you just made. Now we're going to do it again. Ah, uh -oh. Awesome. I feel like that's going to happen a lot. Okay, now that I've gotten that rebuilt, let's try it again. Alright, so I got my second box. Now, like last time, we're going to make a, another flat surface. Awesome! Now, supposedly this can go on forever and ever, and eventually we would end up with the most awesome card tower ever. You could also probably go out with them, just keep making card boxes until you've got yourself a card house. Kind of like card Legos. Whatever, that's up to you guys. I'm moving on to the pyramid. Okay, now supposedly the pyramid kind is a lot harder, so people on the internet are suggesting card training wheels. Your training wheels are, unsurprisingly, cards. So put one on each side of your space. Now we're going to start making a bunch of triangles. Keep them together and have this card, the left side, rest up against the edge of your training wheel card. Once you've got it down, do not touch it. It will fall. All right, next we're going to make some more pyramids. Be super, super careful. I'm going to try preemptively making the pyramid and setting it down to see if that works. And then just scooch it until they're barely touching. The next part, we're going to make sort of a platform across our pyramids. Oh, oh all hail the card house queen. And then repeat. Yes. Make us another platform. Okay, the next part's gonna be kind of hard because now we're gonna have to do the same thing on top of what we already built, which is pretty fragile, so. <gasps> oh, please stay, please stay, please stay. Yes, yes, no, aw. Okay, so I've rebuilt my base and I've decided to make it a little bit smaller since I'm not exactly the best at that. And that's fine, you know, make your goals realistic, that kind of thing. I also tried it again without the training wheel cards because it turns out my 
fleece mat is grainy enough to hold them all there. So, yay me. Don't even breathe incorrectly. Oh, God, that was so close. Ugh. All right, one more layer, and then we are done here. Oh, I think I did it. Oh yeah, look at that awesome card pyramid. Bet you guys are all like super jealous right now. I'm almost a little jealous of me. All right, here we go, my favorite part. Ah, uh, okay, so that was fun, albeit way more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna go back to the other room now. Okay, as far as the voting goes this week, we've got two options for you. Either I can learn how to cook chicken parmesan, or I can learn how to make a working volcano, like a school science project. I never got to do one of those. Either one is fine with me. They both sound fun. They are two things I don't know how to do. So whichever one you'd like to see me try, vote for that. And don't forget to give me some suggestions down in the comments. Now that I'm back, I am expecting an overflow of suggestions from you guys so don't let me down and I'll try not to let you down this time I will absolutely not go this long without updating ever again if I do you guys can devise some sort of awful punishment for me and we'll see all right well that's it for today tune in next week when I will either be cooking or doing science now go out and learn how to do stuff internet <laughs>